Good day, class. How are you today? I hope you're doing great. This is Teacher Charubim Serdana, and welcome to our video lesson in TLE 10 Cookery, Quarter 2, Module 3, Present Vegetable Dishes. After going through this video lesson, you should be able to Number 1. Present vegetable recipes with appropriate sauces and accompaniments. Number 2. Identify factors to consider in plating vegetable dishes. Food presentation is the art of modifying, processing, arranging, or decorating food to enhance its aesthetic appeal. It is also the best way for a chef to bring their personality into a dish. In like manner, the visual presentation of food is often considered by chefs at many different stages of food preparation, from the manner of tying or sewing meats to the type of cut used in chopping and slicing meats or vegetables, to the style of mold used in a board dish. The food itself may be decorated as in elaborate the ice cake topped with ornamental, sometimes sculptural, consumables, drizzled with sauces, sprinkled with seeds, powder, or other toppings. Or it may be accompanied by edible or inedible garnishes. Food presentation techniques. Number one, proportioning. Correct proportioning of a dish is essential not only to its attractiveness but also plays an integral role in controlling the cost. The portion of its ingredient should be pre-decided and maintained while plating. Choose the right plate size. The plate or bowl size should match the portion or quantity of food served. It looks unprofessional if the plate is too small for the portion of food served. It can make the dish low, messy, and overcrowded. On the other hand, small portions served on large plates seem scanty. You can leave a half inch of space between the food and the edge of the plate. Number 2. Styling the next food presentation technique is related to the way you put a dish together or style a meal. The most important role for this food presentation technique is balancing, contrast, and variety. Decorating the dish more than it's required to can end up ruining it or making it hideous. Position the main ingredients as the ingredients of attention. Make other elements complement it rather than hide it. Also, pay attention to the colors. Herbs and vegetables bring color and flavor to the dish. Play with the colors and textures of the plates by adding different sauces. As per customer psychology, serving add quantities of food items like shrimps and mushrooms add to the visual appeal. Number three, choosing the right tableware. A larger plate will give you more space to work with your creativity and the dish. But keep in mind that you do not need to fill your plate so full that there's no room left and it starts looking overcrowded. Doesn't matter how delicious the food is, no one would be tempted to eat if it is served on an attractive plate. Present your plates according to the occasion. Also, rock or broken crockery can be a real torn up for the customers. Conduct regular checks to replace any broken chinaware. Once you understand the intricacies of choosing tableware, you can experiment with different plate shapes, sizes, and colors. Many food presentation techniques include the use of plate of different shapes and colors. Modern style plating or contemporary plating is one of them. Number 4. Timing 
Food plating is all about timing. Make sure you don't take too much time to decorate. Modify or plate a dish that it turns cold when it was supposed to be served hot or vice versa. Remember to include the plating time in the preparation of the dish and inform your guest of the time it would take to serve it. When you are in a bind, you can always follow the traditional clock pattern plating technique. Dividing the plate as the zones of a clock from the customer's point of view and then presenting the starts between 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock, vegetables between 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock, and protein between 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Number 5. Garnishing The garnishing process involves the texture and the flavor of a dish. Through it sounds simple, this food presentation technique also requires care and precision. The taste and feel of the garnish will add to the texture of the dish. Hence, you must choose your garnish carefully and make sure you do not overdo it. It can be as simple as a colorful ingredient which, if paired, create a more alluring dish to combinations of different fruits, sauces, and seeds, which will add to the flavor, acidity, and texture of the dish. Also, try to use easily identifiable organic garnishes wherever possible to avoid the hassle of removing it before serving it to the customer. Essential Factors of Food Presentation Number 1. Good Preparation and Cooking Techniques Proper Cutting and Cooking of Vegetable Number 2. Professional Skills Ability to Perform According to the Required Standards Number 3. Visual Sense Effective Food Presentation Depends on the Understanding of techniques involving balance, arrangement, and garniture. Balance. Select food and garnishes that offer variety and contrast. These would be applied to colors, shapes, texture, and flavor. Portion size. Match portion sizes and plates. Balance the portion sizes of the items on the plate. Arrangement on the plate. Many chefs display their creativity in plating presentations. One important thing is to keep in mind the convenience and comfort of the diners when plating. Things to remember before plating food. Before you begin preparing your dish, you should consider the kind of cuisine you're serving. You are making a hearty steak dinner or you are preparing a delicate side dish or appetizer. You can start building your plate until all your flavors are finalized. And so, it's wise to have your ingredients prepared before you begin the actual plating process. Guidelines for plating food Number 1. Choose the perfect plate. Selecting the right plate for your meal is presentation. Choose the right plate. One way to conceptualize plating is to think of yourself as an artist. The plate as your canvas and the food as your medium. Choose the right size plate. Choose your plate wisely by making sure it's big enough to allow your food to stand out but small enough that portions don't look too small. Choose a complementary plate color. The color of your plate is also significant. White plates are popular because they create high contrast and provide a neutral background for your colorful creations. Utilize white space by thinking of the rim as your frame and consider using the rule of thirds to highlight your plate's focal points. When applied to cooking, the rule of thirds prescribes placing the focal point of your dish to either the left or the right side of the plate rather than the center. Number 2. Keep food off the rim of the plate. 
Select a plate large enough to hold food without hanging off the edge. Number 3. Placing your ingredients. Here are a few of the most important aspects to consider as you build your dish. Plate with a clock in mind. As you begin plating your ingredients, picture the face of a clock. From the diner's point of view, your protein should be between 3 and 9. Your starch or carbohydrates from 9 and 12. And your vegetables from 12 and 3. Use moist vegetables as your base. Another rule of thumb is to plate moist or running regions first as they tend to move during delivery if they aren't held down by other foods. One way to anchor a running regions is by placing other foods on top of them. For example, you can angle slice meat or vegetables against puree's and mask vegetables. Serve by amounts of food. If you are serving food, if you are serving small foods like shrimp, scallops, or bite-sized appetizers, always give guests add quantities. Serving seven Brussels sprout instead of six create more visual appeal, and diners will also perceive that they're getting more food. Place food to create flavor bites. Essentially, flavor bites are porkfuls of food that combine all the ingredients in your dish into one bite. Creating flavor bites is the perfect accompaniment to create plating as it pleases both the eye and the taste buds. Don't overcrowd your plate. Be sure to never overcrowd your canvas and keep it simple by focusing on one ingredient, usually the protein. Finding a focal point also ensures that the accompanying ingredients will play a complementary, supporting role. Number 4. Arrange the items for the convenience of the customer. Always arrange the best side of food on plate to avoid letting the diner rearrange them before eating. Number 5. Keep space between items, unless they are stuck on one another. Arrange vegetable on plate that every item should be identifiable. Number 6. Maintain unity. Create a center of attention and relate everything to it. Number 7. Make every component count. Garnishes are not added just for color, but sometimes they are needed to balance a plate by providing an additional element. Number 8. Pay attention to the details. As you plate your dish, you'll also want to pay attention to the details. Think about color and contrast. One of the best deep secrets to beautiful plating is paying close attention to the details. While your focus will obviously be on the protein, considering how the other ingredients of the plate create color and contrast is also very important. You can create a beautiful background for your plate by adding green vegetables or brightly colored fruits as accent points. Similarly, try to pair ingredients with complementary colors as this will further enhance your dish visual appeal. Create height on your plate. Another way to catch the guest eyes is to utilize the power of height. While compactly stacking ingredients isn't as popular as it was 5 to 10 years ago, creating a tall plate can go a long way towards enhancing visual appeal. You can also balance out taller ingredients by leaning long, flat items against them. For example, you can plate your steak on top of a polencia and lean asparagus spears against them at a 45 degree angle. Use texture to enhance your dish. Finally, don't forget about texture. Contrasting a smooth vegetable puree with crunchy onion straws or topping a steak with crumbled blue cheese creates appealing texture combinations 
that are classic in high-end cuisine. Number 9. Design and create with sauces. Once you've plated your main ingredients, you're ready to top your dish with delicious sauces. Don't just pour the sauce carelessly all over the plate. Instead, think of your squeeze bottle or spoon as a paintbrush and your sauce as medium. Then, use them to enhance your plate. One way to do this is to create accent dots on one side of your plate while considering the roll of turds or by lightly greasing sauce over the main ingredients so guests get a little bit of sauce in every pie. Number 10. Use garnishes purposely. Here are a few examples of smart garnishes and how to incorporate them. Choose edible garnishes. As you finish plating, remember that garnishes must be related to the dish and should always be edible. Ultimately, they're designed to enhance and complement the flavors of the entry you've created, not distract from them. Place garnishes for purposely. Similarly, never heap garnishes in one corner of the plate. Instead, scatter them truthfully in order to add color or texture. Also, avoid unappetizing garnishes like raw herbs, large chunks of citrus, and anything with a strong odor. Lastly, make sure your garnishes are quick and easy to apply, so food still goes out piping hot. Number 11. Keep it simple. Avoid making food too elaborate. Plating tools. Having the proper food presentation and plating tools is essential to high quality plating. Here are a few items you should be sure to purchase if you don't already own them. Number 1. Decorating brushes. As one of the most important products in any chef's toolkit, decorating brushes have a variety of applications. You can use them for both detailed line, work, and broad strokes as you apply sauces, or when plating purees and colleagues beneath meat or vegetables. Number 2. Garnishing Kits Come with everything you need to garnish all your signature dishes, including plating wedges, tongs, squeeze bottles, and brushes. Number 3. Molds Molds are also Molds are also very important when plating food. By cutting ingredients to a specific shape and size, you'll provide visual appeal and keep your plate tidy. Green molds also help you develop height and structure when stacking ingredients. Number 4. Plating and Precision Tongs Precision tongs on hand for placing garnishes or small, delicate foods. Many tongs also feature micro serration for improved grip and stability. Number 5. Plating wedges. Plating wedges come pre cut with flat, round, or pointed edges and are perfect for smearing sauces and other soft ingredients into design on your plate. Number 6. Shapers. Shapers work well when shaping or grating chocolate, hard cheeses, or soft vegetables on top of your finished creations. Number 7. Spoons. Saucer spoons help you drag smears of sauce across your plate. And you can also choose a utensil with a topper bowl that's perfect for drizzling and pouring. Additionally, slotted spoons quickly separate solids from liquid as you complete your presentation. Number 8. Squeeze bottles. Squeeze bottles are ideal when applying sauces to your finished plate. Many of these items come with adjustable precision control tip that allow you to apply the perfect amount of product. Creative presentation techniques. Vegetable purees. Number one, cook vegetable until soft, then drain well. Number two, in food processor, process vegetable to smooth puree. Number 3. Add melted butter or margarine. Number 4. Season with salt and pepper and process again. 
Number five, add whipping cream. Number six, using ice cream scoop or spoon, shape puree on heat proof plate and plate in oven for microwave until hot. Ribbon vegetables. Number one, with vegetable peeler, shred carrot, corvette, and radish into long ribbons about 2.5 cm wide, pressing lightly with peeler so ribbons will be very thin. Toss vegetables with melted butter or margarine. Cook until tender crisp. It is time for our activity. For our activity 1, direction. Read the questions carefully and choose the correct answer. Number 1. One of the food presentation technique where it includes the use of plate of different shapes and colors. A. Garnishing B. Proportioning C. Right tableware D. Timing Number 2. The most important rule for this food presentation technique is balancing contrast and variety. Letter A, garnishing. Letter B, timing. Letter C, styling. Letter D, proportioning. Number 3. It is a food presentation technique where each ingredient should be pre-decided and maintained while plating. A. Proportioning. B. Sugar. C. Meat. D. Fruit. Number 4. It is important in food presentation to include the plating time in the preparation of dish and informing the guest the time it would take to serve it. Letter A. Right tableware. Letter B. Timing. Letter C. Garnishing. Letter D. Proportioning. Number 5. This is a food presentation technique that you can follow the traditional clock pattern plating technique. A. Proportioning B. Garnishing C. Styling D. Timing Number 6. The food presentation technique which requires care and precision. A. Styling B. Proportioning C. Timing D. Garnishing Number 7. When applied to cooking, this rule prescribes the placing of the focal point of a dish to either the left or the right side of the plate, rather than the center. A. Rule of presentation B. Rule of thumb C. Rule of third D. Rule of plating Number 8. This is a guideline for plating the food where you are going to consider the diner's point of view. Letter A. Placing your ingredients Letter B. Choosing the perfect plate Letter C. Paying attention to the details Letter D. Proper use of garnish Number 9. The guideline of plating which refers to thinking about color and contrast Letter A. Ingredients Letter B. Garnishes Letter C. Details Letter D. Sauces Number 10. This refers to making sure that the garnishes you use are quick and easy to apply so that food will still go out piping hot. Letter A. Placing of ingredients Letter B. Paying attention to details Letter C. Garnishing purposely Letter D. Creation of sauces Number 11. One way to do this is to create accent dots on one side of your plate or by lightly breezing sauce over the main ingredients so guests get a little bit of sauce in every bite. Letter A. Placing your ingredients Letter B. Paying attention to details Letter C. Choose the perfect plate Letter D. Create with sauces Number 12. This is the art of modifying, processing, arranging, or decorating food to enhance its aesthetic appeal. A. Visual presentation B. Sauce presentation C. Food presentation D. Traditional presentation Number 13. 
It is the best way for a chef to bring their personality into a dish. A. Traditional presentation B. Visual presentation C. Food presentation D. Sauce presentation Number 14. It is a food preparation technique where you leave a half inch of space between the food and the edge of the plate. A. Garnishing B. Styling C. Proportioning D. Timing Number 15. A food preparation technique which is related to the way you put a dish together or style of a meal. A. Bright tableware B. Garnishing C. Styling and D. Proportioning Let us now proceed to Activity 2. Direction With the information you learn about food presentation, jot down the word or words you can associate with what is inside the box. You will be rated using the rubrics below. You can check your answer in Activity 1 with this answer key. Once again, this is Teacher Cherubim Serdana. Thank you for learning and hope to see you soon.